Good day, all. Uh, here uh, we are coming again, Nina and myself. We're talking about outreach. Um, we're in, uh, in July now, and so many things are happening. Um, we just had an increase of the gas. Uh, all things are going up. And there's a cry out there for more for the poor. So I'll give it to Anita about Christmas in July. Thank you, Father. Uh, as many of you have seen in the last couple of bulletins, we've been advertising the Christmas in July. And typically we would ask for non-perishable, we would ask for cleaning items is what we've done, I think the last couple of years. But I went to Father Kevin and I said, when I've reached out to the pantries this year, they're in dire need of just food and the very basics of food, cereals and, and mac and cheese and spaghetti sauces and peanut butters and just the, the things for, for some quick meals for children and families, granola bars, um, you know, they canned non-perishable chickens and tunas. Uh, anything that, you know, you can bring, believe me, I have I've put together a list. Each week I've dedicated certain items for you to bring. Um, if you want to bring them all at one time or whenever you want to bring them, uh, it's fine. I, I just want I do want to thank you mm -hmm. because I've already noticed such a increase in the amount of food that's been being brought over the last week. So thank you and I pray for you to continue. Um, we have also taken on, and I think you, you are aware of this, we generally add the school supply list. Uh, we work with Mason Dixon in the Northern Harford County District uh, each year to collect school supplies. And because schools are starting back a little bit sooner this year, we've kind of expanded our Christmas in July list and added the last couple of weeks to with school supplies. You'll see it in this week's bulletin. Um, so, or next week, I'm not sure which one it is, but you'll see it in the bulletin with just some basic things for school supplies. They didn't really need backpacks, but they do need all the basics of pens and pencils and crayons. And as, as again, you'll see in the, the flyer that we have in the bulletin. Um, I just, again, want to thank you. We are really, uh, outreach is really being hit hard with people that are struggling with evictions and they, they don't have money for food. And with the increases in everything, your casseroles are going a long way. I thank you for those. Um, this food will really help out the pantries to kind of stock them up. Um, and you've been so gracious so many, many times when I've sat here with Father and we've asked for food. Uh, I so appreciate it and God bless you all for what you do. And please pay attention to the bulletin and whatever you can do, whatever's on sale that you can purchase and it works with your family budget, we, I greatly appreciate it. I know Father does as well. Uh, thank you, Nina. Again, with prices going up, um, people make decisions. They need to, need to eat, and they need electricity or water. Well, they're going to feed first, but if we can provide the food, they can start may pay, may help them pay on their, their bills. But they need the food, too. That's essential. You know, that's essential. So whatever you do, if you see an ad you know, at uh, Klein's, and you see an ad at, uh, at uh, Safe, Safeway, or you see an ad at a Giant, or Aldi, and things like that, and something on sale, and it looks good, try to get it for us. It does make a difference. Those little things can help. What you do helps them in other ways. If they know their food's on the table, they can start budgeting other things. But they, first of all, they budget for food. So they need assistance. So any way you can help, we greatly appreciate it. Again, the casseroles, the uh, school supplies, all those. You're doing the work of the Lord. You're feeding the poor. And that's from our baptismal commitment. As I said many times, I don't expect you to go up in the pulpit and preach the word, but I do expect you to live the word by your witnessing the Lord's, by helping out and making a difference. So Christmas in July is now. Help us now. Thank you.